Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try this Michelina's Lean Gourmet. These are the Buffalo style chicken snackers. It's white, white chicken in spicy tomato sauce and a golden crust. They look pretty good. Um, they are 200 calories for 11 snacks. And there's one and a half servings. So it's about, about 300 calories in the whole box. And you can see the other stuff. Sodium's not even all that bad. Of course, it's 750 total. So anyway, you do them in the oven, which is probably the best way to do them, but I'm going to do it in the microwave. So you're going to remove the lid completely. Place a double layer of paper towels on a microwave safe plate. Arrange the frozen snacks on a single layer. Cook on high for 80 to 90 seconds. So why can't you use the box? I guess you can't. Um, let stand in microwave one and a half minutes, one to two minutes for serving because they're going to be hot. Yeah, so take basically you're taking them out and putting them on a plate on paper towels. That's what you have to do. So let me see if I can get this package open. They look like little bow ties. So I'm gonna get a paper plate and put some paper towels on it and get these in the microwave. They're tiny. These are tiny things. Um, and anyway, I'm gonna get them in the microwave for probably 85 seconds and and uh, I'll be back. Okay, here they are out of the microwave, and there's not much to see, but you do you can see that they, some of them popped the ends out of them. Um, some of them stayed whole, some of them popped. Um, they're very, very hot right now, so I'm gonna I'm gonna give them a minute to cool off. Might even break one in half just so they cool off a little faster before I try it out. I can tell you, they definitely have a strong spicy buffalo flavor. I mean, the scent you can really smell that buffalo. Uh, they smell hot, so um, so I'll be back once they cool off a little bit. Okay, they've been cooling off for a little while. Plus, I, I tore I tore some of them in half. I just tore them to let some of the steam and the heat out. But there's what they look like inside. They're pretty pretty well filled with um, with the sauce and the and the tomato sauce and the and the seasoning. So they're they're not empty by any means. I had some of them of these little um, snackers like things that were you open them up and they're almost empty, completely empty. Um, this one's pretty full of stuff. So I'm gonna give it a try. It definitely has a buffalo flavor. It's a bit, sorry. Um, definitely has a buffalo flavor. Um, they are a little spicy. I mean, the, you can definitely tell that they're buffalo bites because they definitely have that buffalo heat. Not so hot like a, it's not like a jalapeno or a habanero or anything like that. It's not that hot, but it's like a red hot sauce, like Frank's red hot sauce or kind of like a Tabasco sauce. It's kind of that kind of hot. So it's not super bad, but if you don't like that kind of food, you wouldn't like these. Um, my only complaint is something that has to do with the microwave, not nothing to do with the food itself. Um, the, the shells, the little coverings, they're not very crisp, of course, in the microwave. Um, they're a little, they're very, very soft. I would have liked them to be a little crispy, which you would have got if you'd been able to do them in the oven. Um, for lunch, though, you really don't have an oven available at work usually or, or school or wherever. So, um, you really can't eat, eat these in the, in the oven. So um, microwaveable, they are a little crisp. Don't, don't get me wrong, they're not like soggy messes. They are a little crisp, but they are, they, I would like them better if they were a little crisper. Yeah, overall pretty good. The texture's pretty good. I wish the filling was a little thicker, a little firmer, but but that's just a texture thing for me. Um, not something I eat all the time. I'm not into just the Let's eat buffalo hot sauce by itself. Um, if it had a little ranchy flavor in there, it might have been a little bit better. Had a little ranch and uh, um, buffalo together, it would have been really good. Or maybe give me a little sauce to dip it in or something like that, it would have been really good. But they didn't. So as is, they're kind of a one note uh, food. So I'm gonna give it a three. It's definitely edible. Um, I'll eat them. It's nothing I would throw away, but it's not something I would necessarily buy again just because they are just kind of that, that one flavor all the way through and, and a whole, a plate full of one flavor is kind of boring. So, so I hope that helps and thanks for watching.